ジャパニーズポット一マル一です。おはよう東京。こんばんはニューヨーク。こんにちはロンドン。Hi everyone, welcome to Absolute Beginner Season 1, Lesson 20, A Trip to the Japanese Zoo. Jessie des, Jessie here. Konnichiwa, Naomi des. Hi everyone, Naomi here. Thank you for joining us for our Absolute Beginner series. In the last lesson, we learned how to talk about inanimate objects and also how to say you have something. For example, Super ga a r i m a s There's a supermarket. a l e r g i ga a r i m a s I have allergies. In this lesson, we're going to focus on talking about animate objects like people and animals. You'll be able to say things like, Taylor is here and I have a brother. That's right. So, Jessie, what's happening in the conversation? Taylor, Masato, Kaori, and Taylor's daughter Sarah are at the zoo, walking around and looking at the animals. Okay, so let's listen to the conversation. ね。Let's listen to the conversation again slowly. Do butsu imaska? A asoko lion ga imas. A lion no aka chan mo imasne. Kawaii. A gorilla ga imas. どこここです。え、僕あはははは。Now, to it with the translation. 動物いますか Are there any animals? あ、あそこ、ライオンがいます。Oh, over there. There's a lion. あ、ライオンの赤ちゃんもいますね。Ah, there's also a baby lion, isn't there? Kawaii! It's so cute! Ah, gorilla ga imas. Oh, there's a gorilla. Eh, doko? Huh? Where? Koko des. Here. Eh, boku? Huh? Me? So, it sounds like they're having a nice, fun outing at the zoo. Hmm, yes. But at first, they couldn't see where the animals were. Yeah, they were having trouble finding them at first, but then they were able to spot a few. They saw a lion and a gorilla. Which, as you may have been able to guess, is a lion and a gorilla. Yes, these names are taken from English. Hmm, is this common? Hmm, well, there are quite a few animal names that come from English, actually. Mostly exotic animals. Ah, that makes sense. I mean, I imagine there weren't originally many lions and gorillas、oh. <laughs> running around in Japan long ago. Right. Speaking of animals, that's our first vocab word, isn't it? Yes. Animal is dobutsu. Dobutsu. Ah, so if you use the structure we learned in lesson 18 and say, dobutsu ga suki desu. Listeners, do you remember what this means? Ah, good example sentence. That would be, I like animals. Okay, and what other new word did we have? Akachan, which is baby. In this case, they were talking about baby animals, but of course, it's also used for human babies. Actually, I'd say it's primarily used for human babies. Right. Akachan. In this lesson, you'll learn how to talk about the existence of animate objects, that is, people and animals. With this structure, you'll also be able to talk about family members. Yes. This structure is very similar to the one we learned in the last lesson. Yes, if you remember, we learned object ga arimas t 
to talk about the existence of an inanimate object and also to talk about having something. This time, what's our structure? Person or animal plus ga imasu. Ga imasu. Remember that this can only be used with living things, people or animals. Right. So, Jesse, can you tell us when we'd use this structure? Well, first, you can use it to talk about someone being physically present. Yes, as in, Taylor is here or the teacher is here. Right, and that would be covered by person plus ga imasu. Right, and how else? You can also use it to talk about having family members, as in, I have a brother, I have a sister, etc. Yes, family member plus ga imasu. Let's see how it was used in the dialogue. They're at the zoo, talking about the different animals that are there. Taylor says, Lion ga imasu. Lion ga imasu. There's a lion. Lion plus ga imasu. And then after that, Taylor said, Gorilla ga imasu. Gorilla ga imasu. There's a gorilla. Gorilla plus ga imasu. I think for our listeners, though, the other usage might be the one they use more. Ah, talking about family members? Yes, it's really common to get asked questions about one's family. That's true. So let's practice talking about members of your family, such as siblings. What's the word for siblings, Naomi? Kyodai. Kyodai, brothers and sisters. So when someone asks you if you have brothers or sisters, they will ask, Naomi? Kyodai ga imasu ka? Kyodai ga imasu ka? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Remember that the ka at the end makes it a question. Yes, that's right. Now, one thing to remember about Japanese is that there aren't separate words that mean just brother and sister. Great point. You have to specify younger or older. So it's either younger sister or older sister, and younger brother or older brother. Okay, so listeners, if you remember, we learned the word for little sister in lesson 16. Naomi, can you remind us what the word was? Little sister is. Imoto. Imoto. So the sentence, I have a little sister, would be Imoto ga imasu. Imoto ga imasu. Listeners, repeat after Naomi. I have a little sister. Imoto ga imasu. And how about younger brother? Younger brother is Ototo. So I have a younger brother would be Ototo ga imasu. Ototo ga imasu. Listeners, repeat after Naomi. I have a little brother. Ototo ga imasu. This is true for you, right, Naomi? You have a little brother? Ah,、oh, yes. I have a younger brother. Ototo ga imasu. You too, right, Jesse? Ah,、uh, yes. I actually have a younger sister and a younger brother.、Oh. So I can say both imoto ga imasu and ototo ga imasu. I see. Naomi, why don't we briefly touch on the words for older brother and older sister as well? Sure. Older sister is ane. Older brother is ani. So I have an older sister is ane ga imasu. And I have an older brother is ani ga imasu. Great. Okay, I know that was a lot of information,、mm. a lot of new words. <laughs> so, listeners, please check out the PDF where we have all of this information and more. You also learn what to say if you don't have any siblings. Leave us a comment letting us know about your family in Japanese. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this lesson. Thanks for listening. As always, be sure to let us know if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time. Ja, matta! ここです。え、僕<笑>